So the other day I received this Toronto Raptors Vince Carter jersey in the mail. And I mean, just look at this thing, bro. It looks stylish as hell. You cannot tell me that does not look good. Maybe I'm biased, but I think this is one of the best jerseys the NBA has ever seen. Generally, I'm a huge fan of white basketball jerseys, but something about the red and purple trim, the font, and the mean-looking dinosaur, it's just, it's so good. And there's so many other cool jerseys from this era. The Detroit Pistons wore these awesome-looking teal jerseys from 1996 to 2001. These jerseys were such a fan favorite that they brought them back in 2022. And of course, there were these turquoise Vancouver Grizzlies jerseys, which are still iconic. But when I look at this jersey, I find myself asking the question, what happened? What happened to the era where NBA teams went all out? What happened to the era where designs were bold and had lots of detail? Let me show you what I mean. This was the Toronto Raptors logo when they first joined the NBA. They had purple as their primary color, and their logo featured a raptor dribbling a basketball. And this is what their logo looks like today. A red basketball with claw marks. Now, I don't think this is a bad logo by any means, but it doesn't hold a torch to this one. Now look at the two logos side by side. Which one stands out more? Probably the one on the left, right? Let's look at another example. This is what the Atlanta Hawks logo used to look like. And this is what it looks like today. Seeing all that color and detail disappear is just tragic. This is what the Detroit Pistons logo used to look like. And this is what it looks like today. This is what the Minnesota Timberwolves logo looked like as recently as 2017. And this is what it looks like today. Are you noticing a pattern here? All of the teams I just showed had iconic, detailed, amazing logos. And they ditched them all for boring circles! Yeah, I get that basketball is played with a spherical object, but that doesn't mean every single logo's gotta be a circle, god damn it! Now the next logo I'm about to show you is not one that got changed into a circle logo. However, I think it is the best example of the point I'm trying to get across. The Utah Jazz went from this masterpiece of a logo to this. Oh, hell no. With the disappearance of interesting logos, interesting jerseys went away too. Let's compare and contrast white Raptors jerseys. This was the first white jersey they had in their existence, and they wore it for four seasons from 1995 to 1999. And this is the Raptors Association jersey that they wear today. This is like the epitome of minimalism. I do like the chevron, I like how it points up to represent, you know, the north and everything. But that's literally the only good thing I can say about this jersey, because that's the only thing going on! There's nothing else on the jersey, it's just blank white! Someone on the Raptors design team actually cooked this up and said, Yeah, this looks good, we should release this. I will say, they did a good job with the statement jerseys though, these look clean. But yeah, my point still stands, this is a hell of a downgrade. The phrase, less is more, doesn't apply here. However, this is a perfect example of don't mess with perfection. So here we find ourselves in the modern day NBA, where we have jerseys that aren't necessarily bad but are forgettable by comparison. Now let me be clear, if a team has a well-established look like the Lakers, then they don't have to change their jerseys. These jerseys might be minimalistic, but at the same time they are iconic. I'm not against minimalism, I'm just against changing something that was perfect. These Raptors jerseys are perfect, they are symbolic of the era that the Raptors joined the league. And even though the dribbling dinosaur isn't the Raptors' main logo anymore, it still comes to mind when people think about this franchise. Maybe it's the nostalgia talking, but in my opinion, this is an example of perfect branding. I already said it once, but I'll say it again. You don't mess with perfection. Maybe the era of these jerseys and logos that go all out is over, but I hope not. I hope future expansion teams follow in the footsteps of those in the past. I hope teams start making designs that stand out again. Because at the end of the day, jerseys like these are part of what makes basketball fun. But until that happens, we'll be stuck with this piece of shit.